Hey folks, when I work with teams and help them out with their test automation, what I often find is that a lot of the test scripts, a lot of the test code that I come across is very hard to read, is very hard to maintain, hard to understand what it's actually doing. And that leads me to a question. I ask the team members, do you refactor your test code? In other words, do you treat your test code like production code? When you're writing production code, you typically, if you're doing TDD, you write a very small test to describe what your code should do. You make the code pass. You write the code to make the test pass. Then you come back and see how you could tidy it up, how you could refactor it, how you could make the code more readable, easier to maintain, easier to understand, so that when you or someone else comes back to it in a few weeks or a few months' time, it is very obvious what you what what it does and what you need to do if you need to change anything. Now, this is just as true in production code and in test code. You need to refactor your test code. You need to go back. Once you have a test passing, go back and look at the code and see, right, does this express the ideas that it needs to express? Is it clear what the test is testing? Is it clear what the business intent that we are trying to demonstrate is? Are the layers of abstraction done? Is, are there things at the test level which should be hidden away, which could be uh, put into, a, uh, into an object or a reusable component? Is there duplication? All of these things that you do naturally in production code, we also need to do in test code. So if you wanted a small trick to improve your test code, not for today, but for tomorrow and next week and next month, as soon as you finish your next test script, go back to it and do a conscious effort of spending some time, tidy it up, renaming variables, reorganizing the code to make it more readable, refactoring your code for, to make, for, uh, for the future, basically. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. Thanks for listening, folks.